Hello everybody, Great Still Plays, and we're checking out a game for the channel called Forest Village Life is Feudal. So Forest Village is a village building kind of community management style simulator game. Pretty similar to, uh, well actually a lot of people draw similarities to Banished. But I can't, because I never played Banished. I know, I'm a terrible human being. Uh, but I did play other games like the Kingdoms and Castles more recently, and then way back in the day, Villagers, and just a bunch of other kind of like villagey games. I love games like this. I always enjoy it, and a couple of my buddies were saying it's amazing, so I had to at least give it a shot. We're gonna go ahead and do a new game here. The village name. Someone was saying, Gray, you don't name anything after Spoon Lickers anymore. Very well. Welcome once again to Spoon... Crap, I, Gray can't spay with the damn lickery. There we are. Map ID. Wow, this is like, did we on purpose get like the most rounded place? Oh, I don't want to do a small map. I want to do like a normal size map. There we go. Oh, now we got like the jacked up map. We went from having like a perfect circle to like a dude with really small legs praying. I don't know. That's what I get here. Here, uh, Go ahead and start seeing what type of uh, personality traits you guys got by what you see in the little image here. I'm seeing like a, like a head. There's the guy's arms. His palms are together. This little area is where you start off at. I think I, I don't know. I, I want something a little bit less jacked up. Maybe I can get something a little bit less jacked up. Uh, eh, no, I don't like that one either. Uh, it's got a nice coast, I guess. Okay, it's got an interesting island. This isn't that bad. Um, but I don't like it. <laughs> this looks interesting because right here, this looks like freaking Bruce Lee throwing a, a kick out or something like that. It's like a jumping, spinning kick. Maybe it's like Jean-Claude Van Damme or the helicopter kick style. See, there's the little foot right there. His other leg is kind of like curled back. There's like the head. We're going to do this. I like it. Planes, mild, disasters on. Sounds good. From what I've heard, this game is, like, air quotes hard. Um, I know there's some people out there that play games like this, and they're very, very, very good at it. So to them, it's probably like, oh, Gray, you fool. This game is simplistic. Well, to Gray, I have to commentate while playing the game, so everything's a little bit harder for me. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So, some people, oh, uh, some people every once in a while say, Gray, what do you mean when you say your buddies and stuff like that? So, the YouTube community is actually a lot smaller than you think. Um, like a lot smaller than you think. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause real quick. This is interesting. When you pause, everyone stops, like, frozen Professor X style, but, like, the, the smoke is still going. So, the YouTube community is, like, surprisingly small once you, once you, be, like, make it your entire livelihood and you dedicate your brains to it, and what I mean by that is it slowly drives you insane, but you want to continue to do it anyway. So, I talk with a bunch of guys, um, so yeah, some people see me playing with, like, Dragast and stuff like that. Yeah, Dragast, Baron Von Let's Play, Splattercat, we're all buddies, Blitzkriegsler, um, we hang out and we kind of, like, check out these games and stuff together. And there's another reason, too, some people are like, oh, no, more than one YouTuber's playing the game. We do that on purpose, because of the way YouTube works. Um, when we want, when we think a game is good and we want people to know about it, if one dude plays a game, YouTube is like, eh. If two people play a game, YouTube is like, alright. If more people are starting to play games on, uh, you know, with that title on YouTube, YouTube's like, oh, alright, this must mean something. And then it kind of gets the game out there a little bit more, you know what I mean? And that's kind of our purpose, is to keep these indie game developers... Um, you know, getting fulfilled in their game development. I just got really off topic into like a deep and, and powerful YouTube place. There's one of your Gray's Easter eggs. Let's get back to the freaking game. But yeah, Dre was saying this was amazing, so I had to check it out. Alright, so we have, at the very least, someone who is homeless. Um, that's not good. That is not good at all. So we're gonna build him something real quick. I think we only have one who homeless person from what I'm seeing. I'm gonna go over here to houses. And we have a shack, and we have a small house. I think what I'm gonna do is just a shack for right now. Little craptastic shack over here. We can uh, move our shack with the R key. Maybe I want to keep everything kind of similar to the distance. Now, a lot of people... I'm gonna put this here. A lot of people have mentioned uh, some tips and stuff like that, just that I've read. I'm gonna put two people on this for right now. Like, don't build your houses too close together. Um, a lot of people, I guess, end up starving in like the first couple of years or so so yeah i'm really looking forward to that <laughs> i'm looking forward to uh dying horribly for all y'all's amusement we'll see how that goes let's get this shack going the other thing that i think we're gonna want to do is get a field going um at the very least go over here to the fishing area so again 
how the game works, there's some interesting stuff here that's a little bit different than a lot of other games. Mm -hmm. One, you can possess people by clicking on them and then jumping into them. And now we're this dude, and we can check out the village. How cool is that? We got lanterns here. Could look all around. We got a friggin' that does not look like a domesticated animal right there. That looks like a friggin' wolf. I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of this guy. But I love that first person ability. It looks really neat. Um, and I'm a big fan of it. So, some of the other things to know is that disease, cold, food, all that stuff is very, very real. And it'll get you killed extremely fast uh, if you don't take care of it. Gather a hunting cabin, an orchard, a field. I'm gonna want a field. Um, and let's see, where do I want to put yonder field? We have some space. I think I want to... One of the things I want to do is kind of like expand in a in a general area. I don't want to expand in one direction. I kind of want to expand everywhere. Let's kind of dig down here real quick and get a closer look at the ground. Oh yeah, right around here. Let's put the fields right out behind these guys. So let's make our very first field. How about we make it over here perhaps. They're going to have to cut down that tree, but that's no big deal. Um, What size field should we make? How about a 10 by 10? Seems like a good idea. 10 by 10 should be just fine. This thing's going okay. We got, again, two laborers on it, I believe. Current amount of people building and then people working in the profession. Okay, very good. So over here, the field should be getting built fairly soon as well. Let's see what everyone's doing right now profession-wise. So one of the things that you can do is down here in your many, many um, bowers of power, we have general information, we can click on that. There's a lot of stuff that we can see here. Village info, event logs, professions, all kinds of crap. Just check out the professions real quick over here because, again, this is actually like my first time playing the game. I went through the tutorial, but that's about it. Couple of builders, eh. uh, And then no one else is doing anything. Well, everyone, you're all building now. Now, there's one thing to note. Oh, can we only have that many? No, I'm sure that we can probably have six, I would imagine. I don't know, we'll find out in just a second here. One of the things to note is that children in this game, uh, they're kind of a burden. I mean, they're super important because that's how you expand as like a human culture and stuff like that. But they don't do anything. They can't work. Take that tree to the ground, baby. They can't work or anything like that. So uh, all they're doing is like eating your food <laughs> and not really doing much else. Uh, let's see over here. I at least want a couple people probably like getting wood and such. And we're eventually going to want a Lumberjacks Lodge as well. For now, let's go ahead and fast forward through this and kind of get this stuff moving along here. Our first building, we can fast forward quite a bit too. Our first little building should be done in just a second. There we go. Shaq's holding two of three. Three of three. So everything else is pretty much taken up and I think everyone is happy now. Okay, good, yeah. Everyone has a place to lay their head at night, which is quite nice. Over here in the darkness, people kind of lingering around. You know how it is. They have fun now and again. Uh, just kind of, uh, I don't know what they really do at night. We could click on someone if we wanted to and kind of wander around. Hold on here. Mm -hmm. We go click on this guy. What do you do in the early morning hours? I do wonder, my good friend. Uh, nothing really. Oh, we can open inventory with the uh, right key over there. Is this a young child? Young child, when you grow up, you will be a beautiful forester. I have decreed it. That is your new profession once you are old enough. And you, sir, shall be a hunter. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make you a fisher, young lad. How about that? You won't have to deal with all the wolves in there, have you? I'll just have you kind of uh, doing other stuff. All right. Over here, we're going to plant potatoes. Uh, there we go. Okay, so the size of the field that you make is directly proportionate to the amount of people that can work in it So what I'm gonna do is I've got one field over here right now This is like just a one-man field so this this poor individual I say man this may actually be uh -huh. a Woman named Blair Blair's 20 years old people. Uh, I doubt she's single because this is a uh, forest village So pretty much everyone has a family just about as soon as they can Blair is an absolute beast. Blair is working all through the night. We're going to be planting potatoes over here as well. All right, we've got three total farmers farming it up. I thought it said it was good. It would be big enough for a third person, this one down here, but maybe not. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still learning the game a little bit. One of the things I want to get down for sure is a, a Lumberjack's Lodge. I think it's called a Lumberjack's Lodge. Let's go check this out over here real quick. we got terraforming now. Resources, houses, storage, food. Okay, how about resource gathering? Sounds like something good. Oh, a four there we go. A nice lumberjack lodge. 
Probably a Forester's Lodge is gonna be really, really good as well. They don't seem to take too much, but let's go ahead and get the Lumberjack's Lodge down. Now, the Lumberjack is pretty good because that's going to allow us to uh, essentially have firewood to keep everyone warm. Uh, so let's go ahead and put, I don't wanna put it too near the fields. Let's start building anything. I wanna build more housing this way. So let's kind of put the foresting lodge and stuff over on this side, perhaps. The Lumberjack's Lodge is underway. It's underway pretty good too. Oh, hi there, auto save function. Good to see you again. Take those trees down, boys. They're in the way of progress. I don't wanna see trees just lollygagging around. Now, I guess in the game, trees have ages and stuff like that. So if you take down the little tiny trees, you only get a little amount of resources. Uh, whereas if you take down the big towering and quite powerful trees, it's better that way. Because you get more resources, which is fantastic. How many children do we have right now? We have three children. Oh, that must be a baby or something right there. Uh, children, teenagers, and adults. Got it. All right. So real quick, let's go ahead and slow things down to a, a, dull, a dull roar here. And let's put someone in here right now. At least one person. I think one person will be quite good. So someone, you get to be assigned into the land of Lumberjackhood. Now that we have a Lumberjack, I would assume... Man, I love this. I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack is uh, very, very good. <laughs> I'm a real big fan of that. A Forester's Lodge seems appropriate. Oh, Forester Lodge. How tall and proud you are. I'm going to put this right next to the uh, right next to the lumberjack area because it seems like a good place to put it i would assume make sure that two people are assigned to building it they are we can go ahead and move things along the other thing that i'm going to want to do after this is probably get a little fishing thing down because fishing seems like a fantastic way of getting food and as always we have landed right up against a majestic water source so let's go check that out real quick back over here to the little fish symbol it's telling us something folks it's a fish symbol. Over here, we can make a nice fisherman's lodge. Let us build it. I want to build it as far out into the water as I can. Um, this way, it takes up as little like land as possible, I assume. How far are you allowed to build it out there? Are you allowed to build it like way out there? Holy crap, you can build it pretty far out there. Like right around there, actually. There we go. All right. We can go get that done in just a second. I think, let me go see over here. Should have two people working in that profession. And current maximum people building the building. Well, we're not going to have anyone building the building because right now everyone's going to be building the foresting uh, lodge, which is good. I do want to get that done. Let's go ahead and get this done. And then we're going to have the Fisherman's Village done. The potatoes should be doing well. This one over here has got kind of a head start. Uh -huh. So, Lilani, were they, weren't you someone else? Didn't you have a different name or do hmm. you guys all interchange? We have cash. <laughs> That is a fantastic name. There's Blair. Blair's down here now. All right, Blair. Blair is uh, very, very skilled in her profession, so she's been working for a long time. I'm hoping that's just a rock. At first, I thought it was some horrid growth that was on the ground, but it turned out to just be a rock, so it's not a big deal. We have quite a bit of firewood, 314. Like I said, getting through the winter, very much a concern, but not too bad right now. Not too bad. Let's go, let's go and watch this foresting uh, building get done over here. It should get done in just a little bit. And then, once we're done with that, we can probably, we can probably unassign a builder and just keep one spare builder. One of the things that you can do is you can like unassign and reassign people all the time. I don't know if they gain skills. All right, there we go. I went ahead and assigned someone. So now we should have a forester, which is very exciting. So one of the things that you can do to kind of like see wherever people are, like if you go over here, we should see that someone is indeed our forester. Let me see here. We have a builder. We have farmers. That's right. That's right. Oh, here we go. Our forester right mm -hmm. over here. So now we can click on them. Benton, 17 years old. Benton's working hard planting trees right next to this fox. That's interesting. One of the other things that you could do is, I guess, when you have hunters and stuff like that, you can possess people and then, like, slaughter all the wildlife. I don't know if that's, like, you know, a wonderful thing or not, uh, but it is something that you can do. So our fishing pier, which is right down here, slowly starting to come together. Um, as such, we only have one builder right now, but I do want to get this done. Let me go ahead and push things right along. There we go. Get that thing going proud and strong. And it's a good thing, too, because I think we're going to need more logs for sure. That was a giant bear that just wandered right through our city right there. Well, I can't even really call this a city. All right. So the fishing area is completely done. Let us go ahead and assign a lovely fisherman. 
to go ahead and start fishing for us. And who will our fishermen be? I imagine mm -hmm. they're going to be the last builder. Benevolence! Now that is a fantastic name. Benevolence, working hard doing the fish. She's already caught nine fish. Oh, Benevolence, you are going to be very, very useful to the group. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the things that it was telling me is that we're pretty low on food. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty glad that Benevolence is there working hard. So in this game, I guess you could get, I think it's like scurvy or something like that. And you get that by not having a varied enough diet. So that's just lovely. That's just friggin' fantastic. I can't wait to uh, be hit with scurvy. Yeah, right over here. Look, there's a friggin' bear right in our area. Now, it doesn't appear to be vicious or anything like that, which is kind of nice. It hasn't killed anyone, at least. Teenager Frankie is ready to work. Oh, Teenager Frankie, let me put this on pause. Teenager Frankie, you, sir just became a freaking fisherman right there. Teenager Frankie, get out there. Do my bidding, Teenager Frankie. And I really appreciate you doing it because I don't want everyone to starve to death. How's the crops looking these days, come to think of it? Uh, well, our potato crop is looking pretty good. Over here, probably not as much. Ah, it's not bad. Um, we're still in summer. So I'm hoping that the fields down here will be good. I ho I'm hoping that the harvest will be there by the time we get into winter, and it should be. Um, over here in potato land, things are looking fairly good. The potatoes should show up. Oh, right over there. Look at that. We just got 18 vegetables. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy to see that. All right. We're in late summer now. Late summer. How are the crops doing down this side? Um, I don't know, man. We may have got, I may have gotten that started a little bit late. Not 100% sure. Down here, though, in the land of fishes... The fish are a flowing baby. Holy cow. 674 fish. Now, to be fair, we started with a lot of fish, too. So, there is that. So, things seem to be doing pretty good. I'm, I'm really hoping that we're going to do okay as we move into winter. I think we're going to be just fine. One of the things I have heard is that your expansion should be nice and slow. Uh, meaning, like, don't build too many houses until you have the food to, to deal with it. Um, and that's probably, that's probably good advice. Now, I don't know what the magic number is. I don't know how many, like, houses, or how many fields, or how much food per house. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy crap! This building is on fire! The building is burning! No workers are assigned to the building! Is it because it's on fire? Everyone, put the building out! Put the building out! Oh, they're working hard! They're working hard trying to put the building out. Why are you sleeping next to a burning building? For the love of God, don't sleep next to the burning building. I'm going to go ahead and slow things down so we can kind of watch this over here. Look at him. Carting the water over. Yes. Okay, good. Wow. Well, that was almost really, really, really bad. Um, well, it was bad. Is it? It still looks like it's on fire. Um... Oh, the fires are still catching. Come on, guys. Let's put this thing out, man. Put these fires out. They keep spreading. Holy crap. Everyone. Everyone on the fires. Everyone on the fires. So, yeah, lightning storms are a thing. Jeez. That was absolutely dreadful. All right. Over here. Starting to put it out. Okay, very good. Now, is that other fire still blazing over here? It sure is, guys. Put this thing out. Okay. Now, I think all of the fires are finally out. Good. Our buddy's over here fixing up the poor lumberjack house. Well, lumberjack house, lumberjack area. Because it got the living crap kicked out of it. I think that our forester building is back to where it should be over here. Yeah, it's, it seems to be fine. Okay, so that was interesting. Wow. Uh, right off the bat, we ended up having uh, a, whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of insanity going on over here. As we head into fall... And, yes, the potatoes are doing fantastic. Oh, that's so good. Just kind of moving things along here. I think one of the things I'd like to do is get, like, someone collecting some stone. Now, one of the things is right now everyone is doing something. Um, I could probably stop our firewood person for the moment. In fact, I may do that. I may do that to try and collect some stone because I haven't messed around with it. So, like, if we collect this here and then we do, like, this... Will it tell me? Ah, yes. It highlights the stone for me. So we can do it just like that. Okay, very good. There we go. Just happened to have a random person collecting some stone, which is good because it got us up to a much better place than we were before. 
So we have no one utilizing our lumberjack area right now, but I'm not super worried about it. Let's go ahead and keep collecting like any other stones that are kind of in the area. Just run over there and pick those up for me, would you? I assume that's what she does. Um, well, I don't. I shouldn't even say that. I don't know if hmm. it's a he or a she or what. Oh, it's Brody. Brody is mining like an absolute madman. Holy God. All right, Brody, hold on here. Let me go grab Brody real quick. Brody, where you at, buddy? Where are you at? You're taking that back over there. You know what? Let's go ahead and possess Brody. I haven't possessed enough people. I'm very curious, though, exactly how it works. So Brody is taking the rock back over there. Very good, Brody. And now we are Brody. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and check this stuff out here. There's a uh, very, very ominous-looking wolf looking at us with with hunger in his eyes. I suppose we have uh, that looks like. A piece of fecal material? I don't know. What is this? Hold on. We're gathering something. What in the world did I just get? Oh, we've got some food. All right. Well, once you have food, you can go over here, I do believe. And you can, if I can do it real quick, and you can interact and drop it off. There we go. Look at that. We're working hard. You can also sound the alarm. It's not really the alarm. It's more like a, uh, it's more like a horn. It gets people to kind of get... Put their, put their butts into it, you know what I mean? Here we go, now we have a nice stone over here. So can I go ahead? Yes! Oh man, it's as, it's as specific as you want it to be, baby! We are mining stone! Go grab, oh yeah, give me all that stone. I want all the stone. Now we can hustle back, look at this. So this building is where all of the materials go. It's so cool, like all the materials are there, look! We've got stone and wood and all this stuff. And if you if you run over here, this is pretty neat, man. If you run over here, look, there's all baskets of like food and and fish and stuff like that. Man, that is freaking cool. That is that is really neat. I really appreciate that game. That's pretty slick. All right, so we're into the fall now. Many many potatoes, many potatoes have been gathered. And in fact, while we're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of now the ore. Where where now the ore? Oh wow, there's quite a bit of ore. I'm gonna go ahead and have that uh, have Brody collect all that ore. We might as well get all this together, because what I'm waiting for is right now our population's 12. We still have a lot of children. Well, a lot of teenagers, I should say. I want to get everyone into the area where they can all work. So that we can think about having more kids because like I said if everyone's issue with this game is that all their people end up starving to death horribly Then what we're gonna want to do Is make it so that everyone can carry their weight before we think about allowing people to have intercourse <laughs> Um, that sounds terrible, but that's just the way it is. Ah, here we go winter so over here uh, The fields from what I understand. Yeah, they unfavorable season so they don't really grow in the winter so some of the things that people have mentioned to do in the winter is to go ahead and reassign all of your farmers to something else. So that seems like a really smart idea. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. So now we have some people open. One of the things I really wanted to build was a hunter's lodge because I think that having some meat in their diet is really going to help everyone like be super happy. So where would the hunter's lodge be under, I wonder? Probably not this. It would probably be under the food area, right? Because it's a style of... Ah, here we go. A hunting cabin. That's That's got to be it. Right over there, I would expect. Yes, a hunting cabin. Hunting cabin it is. Meat and hides gathering. Excellent. I'm going to put, like, all of our wooden stuff like that. I'm going to put this hunter's cabin over here, too. Everyone can kind of be fairly close together. In fact, I'm going to put it over here so we can take down this tree. Because this tree is looking at me wrong. So let's put that right there. We need a couple of builders, but we just so happen to have some because we have some people free now. Go ahead and do it, boys. Go ahead and get that hunting cabin down and done. I would appreciate it. Let me go ahead and put a couple of people on it right now. Yes, take it down. Take that tree down. That big old tree right there. We need more wood anyway. Down you go, tree Cicles. Hunting cabins are going to be where you used to be, you scumbag. We've got three fishermen working the seas real, real hard, which is fantastic because you can continue to fish throughout the winter. So that's kind of nice. We're still in fall, so I could probably even have um, someone continuing to do this. Actually, you know what? I am. I'm going to put one person over here for this because it looks like there's still a bunch of potatoes that could be harvested. And if that's true, I'd rather have someone doing that than not. 
So over here on the hunting cabin, how we doing on it? Looking pretty good. Two out of two builders going for it. It is almost done. And the very second it is done, we will have a hunter going out there and protecting the village. Now, not only... Let me go ahead and slow things down here. Not only are hunters good for food and the like, but there's another thing that they're good for, and that's protection. Uh, because they do take care of any animals or whatnot that may try and get in the way. So that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, who is our hunter? Who is our mighty, mighty hunter? Let's find the bow. We got to find the bow over here. So here we go. Our hunter is... Oh, Leilani is our hunter. That's interesting. So hunter Leilani over there is going... I think I'm pronouncing that name right. Hold on. Let me find her again. Leilani. Leilani. Yeah, that is her. All right. Well, whatever. She is our newest hunter. I imagine she will be working super hard. Actually, you know what? Let's... um. Let's see if we can follow her around a little bit. All right, Lilani, I want to watch you work. What is it like to be a hunter? What what sort of impressive and powerful skills must you need? Oh, we have a boar over here. Oh, she shanked it. She shanked it with a sword or something. That's awesome. Okay, Lilani, you are an absolute badass. So, yeah, uh, good for you. Very happy about that. Okay. At this point, let's see, before it was unfavorable season, I think that we have, yeah, snow is completely covering the potatoes at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and say that we can uh, forget about anyone working on the fields at the moment. I think that the fields are uh, are, are done. And they have, they have absolutely provided a huge, a huge amount of food for us. So now I'm going to go ahead and put two hunters down. Two hunters down should be pretty cool. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's, um, maybe uh -huh. we can go ahead and possess a hunter. Carrying to storage. All right. Oh, there we go. She just got some meat. After she gets done carrying it to storage, let's go ahead and be her for a little bit and see if we can do some hunting. So we are now Lilani. So what is it that we want to hunt? There's a boar over here. I haven't, I've never messed with this. I'm very curious to see how this works. All right, boar. I think you're a boar. You look pretty boarish. Take him down. Yeah, we did it. Bore down. One shot, one kill, baby. Now, I imagine it's not that easy. I imagine it is not that easy. Let me go ahead and uh, spur everyone on over here. We got some resources. I'm going to go ahead and get out of her real quick. I was, I was just really curious to see kind of how the hunting works. It's so cool that you can jump in and hunt. Like, for your people. I wonder if you can jump in and fish. Never really thought about it, but that would be kind of interesting, too. So, um, well, you know what? Maybe in a second uh -huh. here. Frankie, what's it like to fish? All right, throw the old pole out right there. Now, do we do we wait for, like, a bite or something? Or, uh, how's it work? I've never played fishing simulator in the... Whoa. I... Whoa, hi. All right. Yeah, I, I did we catch something? I think we caught something. I don't really think there's a mini game for it. I think you just keep throwing the pole out, perhaps? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, boy. Early winter, boys. Early winter, which means the firewood uh, should start getting used here. Now, we do have a lumberjack. So, we, have, we should have plenty of firewood uh, to get us through the winter. Now, what we don't have is a tailor or anything like that. So, I'm curious. You know, I've never, um... Huh? Let's click on this child over here. Hello, little child. Let's go see what your house looks like. What is the... What is the shack for our lovely people of Spoon Lickery like? Let's take a look over here. Ah! It is a raised floor off the ground. Very good. You basically have a, a tiny little fire area. The snow is completely coming through the ceiling. So, our shack isn't doing very much. We have a table with some food. We have an auto save feature. That's very nice. And then I'm guessing everyone is just sleeping on the floor together. Because that would make the most sense, I assume. Uh, it is really cool. That is so cool. Um, I told you, I, I say it, but it is. Like, like, to be able to see the interior and have it have a legitimate interior is pretty cool. And... Remember, we had a eighth person that turned into an adult, so that is awesome. We do have two teenagers right now that we're going to be waiting on. Um, I don't know, like, it looks like at 17 or so, people are happy to do things. But I don't know, like, how, um, 
I don't know if like 16 you're able to do something or what. Number of idle villagers. Oh, an idle villager. You would think everyone's doing something. Oh, we have a builder. That's why. Okay, well, let's do, um, what else can I do for you? You know what? Let's do, let's do another forester there. We should have, an, we should have enough food, I do believe. Uh, we've got, well, we have a couple of pieces of meat. We don't have a ton of meat, uh, but we've got meat. We've got vegetables. Uh, we've got fish, which is basically a meat. So I don't really know anything else to say other than that. Um, oh, you know what we could do? Is we could have them uh, gather fruits and stuff like that. That is something we could do. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's go over here to the gather area. And what sort of resources are we allowed to collect? Wood, all, or or hay. Also, there's nothing like uh, there's nothing like fruits or anything like that, huh? I know you can create. I know you can create a gatherer's hut, uh, right over here. You can do that, and that would get us more different types of foods and stuff like that. I don't know. We could do something like that. I decided to assign a third villager to um to hunting at the moment, just because that seems like a good idea. Like I said, just getting more and more meat and stuff like that seems appropriate, and I want to be able to know exactly what our food and firewood situation is for the most part. We seem to be making it through winter pretty good. We've had plenty of firewood. We don't have any charcoal or anything yet. Um, and from what I understand, charcoal does is much more efficient than firewood. But I think you need a kiln in order to get it. So that's something that we can think about. Um, bread. You start with a lot of bread, but we don't have a way to make more of it. So we could possibly think about, like, getting more bread made. So one of the things that I hadn't built at all was a dirt road. I'm actually going to put one right through the middle of, uh, of our little town here. Just to kind of see how it works. I haven't messed with it or anything yet. Right like that. There we go. So now, let's go, because right now we don't have any builders. So I am going to, let's see here. I am going to remove one of our hunters, I believe. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in the build area so that we can start getting the road built. There he is! Wade is digging hard, baby! He's digging hard and fast. Let's see how slow it is. Oh, he's not even digging. He's hammering. At great speed. Is that a sword in his hip? Well, you got to protect yourself. But at great speed, it looks like he is digging with great power and fervor. Holy crap. Look at this. Look at this beast go throughout the night. Building dem roads. And I have a feeling that having a road is probably going to be a good thing for the most part. All of the meat and fish still holding out pretty well. Vegetables holding out very well as also firewood's doing good. We have quite a few logs, quite a bit of stone, and we've got ore as well. So I think that we're doing all right on resources. Kind of curious, what do you guys think we should build next? There is so many buildings in this game. Like, we have only, literally only scratched the surface. It's cool, though, because, you know, we got to do a little bit of hunting. We got to do a little bit of uh, checking out the various interiors for all these different places. We did some farming. We got some fishermen going over here. We got a lumberjack making sure that our people are nice and warm. We've got, uh, what else we got going on? We have our uh, forester building over here, planting trees in there, have you? Now, one thing uh, that's been said is that, like, the hunter and stuff like that, you don't want it where all your buildings... Uh, same thing with the forestry area. You don't want it where all your buildings are taking up all the good real estate. Although, again, the one cool thing about the hunter's cabin is that it allows some protection from uh, wild animals and stuff like that. And I don't know if, like, wild animals are, like, super, super attacky in this game. I haven't gotten attacked by one yet, so I guess lucky me. Um, but, yeah, once we get through winter here... Maybe we will wait for a few more people to grow up, and then we can start thinking about having another house and kind of getting things moving. There's that fox, man. That fox has been running around. I don't know if one of my hunters is going to whip his ass or what. Looks like the hunters are more interested in boars and the like, and I totally understand that. They got more meat on their bones. Boys, hope you're enjoying Forest Village. Life is futile. Um, very cool game. Love the first-person views. I think that that's a fantastic addition to a game like this. And I like being able to get down in there and actually do stuff with my people. That's really neat. I think that we're in a decent area, too. We got a lot of expansion. We've got Bruce Lee over here doing the uh, the master kick of, uh, of Ascension. And uh, all in all, game's pretty sweet. Anyway, folks, till the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>